So, good morning YouTube, Steve Northeastern Collections here. Um, I'm showing you this because, oh, I see a pair of skates now. Um, I'm thinking I might have missed something on this, but I'm not sure. Um, I see a lot of iffy stuff, a lot of possibilities maybe, but it's been my experience up here in Pittsfield area that, um, you know, that's what she'll get. Um, <laughs> I'm looking through this and I don't see anything to warrant. I mean, it's stacked all the way to the top in spots, but I also have all that wood there, which I have no use for. Uh, and then the bid is 450. It is a 10 by 15, but, um, and I actually expect it to go up a little bit before the ending. So, needless to say, I would have to rent that unit out and that unit is $138 through prime storage and uh, so I would have to bid you know it'd probably go up to 500 bucks and I'd have to come up with six hundred and thirty eight dollars which yeah I could do it but I don't see five hundred dollars and actually I have to say I don't see six hundred and thirty eight dollars in there because um, it, ha it has also been my experience with around here um, if it goes to 450, it'll go to seven. Um, cause I bid on the last one, which was really, really neat. Uh, full, very clean. This one here is nowhere near as clean and it's going for $450. Um, that's, I bid up to, on the other one, I think I did $200 and it went to 690. Um, you got to bid on what you see. And if you only see $250 in a unit, don't bid anymore. You know, you have to, have to, you know, because you got all those boxes in there. What if those boxes just hold boxes? You know, um, I don't think the Pittsfield one is as bad as some of the other ones where people... I've never saw anything rifled through when I've won my lockers. So I've never, like, there were no open boxes. If there were open boxes, it was open during the picture taking and they showed the open box. There was no surprises, I guess you could say, at this, at this unit. Um, dresser drawers were still in the dressers and they weren't rifled through. Everything was folded neatly in it, just like they would if they just brought it in and folded clothes into it, et cetera, et cetera. So I got nothing good, nothing but good to say about the people at Prime Storage in Pittsfield. Uh, same with Green Island, New York. Um, those are the two that I mainly go through. Um, Green Island, New York. Uh, when you drive into Green Island, you think, oh my God, what did I get into? But every unit that I've bought there has had really, really classy stuff in every unit. Um, it isn't like somebody just, you know, was a scumbag and, oh, this was all roaches, so I'm gonna throw this in there. They were just, I mean, 100% silk shirts, great uh, tread climber I found, uh, just incredible, incredible items at Green Island. Pittsfield is hit or miss. Um, Probably one of the better things I found for clothing was I had a, uh, a Robert Graham t-shirt. Um, so uh, in with a what I called the druggy unit because um, it had a whole bunch of uh, hypodermic needles and uh, they were all packaged and brand new in the box so that was good. Nothing was exposed and a uh, whole bunch of uh, pills etc etc and I was like oh great another locker but I only spent 10 bucks on it so not a big deal sold the Robert Graham for 75 bucks um, and so I made my money on that I didn't uh, everything 
I turned all the drug stuff into the cops and because I'm not going to sell it online, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I see people doing it, but I'm not going to. Um, so that's not my, that's, that's not what Stevie's all about here. So, um, and that's not what Northeastern Collections does. Um, if it's not vintage, it's got to be legal at the very least. So, um, yeah, so storage lockers have been really good to me. Uh, but I don't know where people are coming from. I mean, I understood the $690 on the last one, but this one here, I don't know. I just, I saw nothing worthy of $450 and probably more. So, um, I guess on that note, uh, another depressing storage locker uh, auction. Haven't they don't have yeah and no, one somebody asked me why i don't do live ones they i don't want to travel that far over here in pittsfield they don't do many um the way you have it is you either do it online or there's one place that you can go in look at the locker and write down what you're willing to pay for it they call you if you win so but the problem with that is if you put down you're willing to bid a hundred bucks and you think it's like it's up to a hundred dollars and somebody else comes in and said they're willing to spend 25 you're not spending 30 you're spending the hundred so that's the only problem with that one is you so you got a bid as low but you don't get a chance to rebid if somebody outbids you it's whoever comes in they do it for three or four days whoever comes in with the highest bid they win. You don't get a chance to say, hey, wait, I'll go 120. If you bid 100 and somebody bid 120, you could go to 130. Doesn't do that. It's like whoever wins at, at the fourth day, they pull them all out and that's it. So, all right. So that being said, <coughs> here's the, uh, the day. Looking out my window, I got snow on the lot and sun out. But the wind is absolutely flying. So that being said, hope you all have a, a great day and uh, stay warm if you're in this kind of climate. Um, and be safe. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the like button.